This is Taro from Rock's House and welcome to another episode of Figma Friday. Figma has a ton of tools that makes our lives easier. And one of those handy features is a component and instancing component. Lot is more a technique than a feature on Figma itself. The slot method is all about using placeholder components that we can use later in our design process to change with actual content. What I have here is a model component set with auto layout and a simple title and a placeholder component, which will be our slot. Right here on the left, I have a bunch of components that will make our content up when creating an actual model. So if we look at the structure of this model here, we can see that we have several slots and slots are just instances of uh, one of those, one of these two components. And I have this slot component created, which is just a placeholder to show uh, other designers in the team that this is a place where I can change the content later. But I also have this small component, uh, which I called flat slot, which is only um, a space that I will use later when creating instances of my model. So uh, basically one of the cool things about slots is that I can control what parts of my co uh, component will show when creating instances. So I will start by creating a new instance of this component right here. And as you can see, if I change things on my main component, the instance will update as well. But one of the cool things about using this method is that I can control the instance by itself. So I can show the bottom slot or hide the bottom slot. I can show the upper slot or hide the upper slot. And I can show or hide the main content slot that I have here without modifying my uh, original component. And the cool thing about this is that I can change the component without detaching it, which is uh, which means that any change that I introduce to my main and original component will be reflected on the instance itself. So uh, to change the content of my model, I can go to my um, to my uh, instance uh, dialog right here on the on the right panel of Figma. And I can choose any component that, that I want. So I can change the image component that I created a while ago. I can show the bottom slot and select that slot right here on the left panel and then go to my selection and use the model content uh, component. So right here, one of the problems that, that I have is that my component is bigger than, than it should. And I can fix that very easily just by making sure that the slot is taking enough space or the space that, that is needed. The way in we can fix this here is just by changing the settings of my component from fixed height to fill container. And that now we have a model with actual content that was created from a component with just a bunch of placeholders. Now we have a model with actual content that was created just from a component with a bunch of placeholder components. And this will really help you to uh, speed up your design process because on the first part you are only paying attention to the styles of the uh, main component itself and how it should behave, uh, what are the parts that will make up that component. But later on, on your design process, you can very easily go and change 
the content and place actual content on on, on the component that you first designed. Uh, this method can be very easily used with uh, more complex components or or components that have more properties such as as buttons with different icons and 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 components that will have uh, even more details. Um, you can add as much slots as you need here. Um, and remember that whenever you are changing anything on, on the main component, it, it will be uh, also changing on the on the instance of that component. Uh, and that's just a nice way to 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 handle flexible components uh, in an easy but also in a very fast way. And the cool thing about this is that you are not detaching the instance of the component from the component itself. And uh, well, I guess that's that's it for for today's episode on my side. I think that slots is a very cool method to handle flexible components to make your your uh, workflow a little bit faster and please let us know if you like this uh, tip here uh, please leave a comment if you like this if you like this video and i hope to see you soon again <laughs>